So I was minding my own business uh, and I get a call from Misha who has a surprise outside for me and look what I've walked out to. I walked out to Misha and Asa Martin. Marion's here too. Hello. Uh, Misha and Asa Martin with a pretty dead looking bow on top of it. Bow, bow. Like bow. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um, anyways, so apparently we just did like the surprise in a French video, so I know what's going on now. Uh, but this is kind of cool, actually. Aston Martin, Geneva, lent you this car. Yeah, today, because they, I saw and they saw that you bought probably the wrong car. And we have <laughs> the perfect competition for you, so it's the Aston Martin Vantage. Yes. So I believe like we should spend some time and I try to prove you that that's a better ride. Okay, so you think Wait, this is no better one. than my Porsche. Or we're going to end the day and I'm also going to buy a Porsche. So yeah, <laughs> one or the other, put your money where your mouth is kind of thing. Yeah. This is beautiful. It's the new, it's the first time I see the Roadster. Yeah, it's the Roadster. It's pretty, it's pretty special. Huh? You like it, Mario? Yeah, we really like it. Yeah, you approve? It's pretty cool, huh? So it's a bit different. The spec is very similar to mine like all black obviously this wasn't really planned so we're filming on my phone but i like these kind of raw style videos it's all black you've just got red where i've i've got yellow but i yeah. think what probably makes the most sense is i go get the porsche i can line it up here and then we can compare Actually, interior exterior yeah okay let's go get the porsche i'm on my way back to misha i've got the porsche this does feel pretty good he's gonna have a hard time convincing me that that car is better you, will you defend me of course. yes you're on my side two against one the Aston, the Porsche, here we are. I'm gonna park up and let's see first of all design-wise which we prefer because I think the Porsche is pretty hard to beat to be honest. This is the moment of truth. We start with the looks. Which yeah. car do we prefer looks-wise? Now that we've got both together. Yeah, I think this is very subjective because they're both very good looking cars. They're beautiful. The Aston is maybe more pretty and the Porsche is maybe a bit more badass. Uh, yeah, this one is more like class and chill. Yeah. Bonjour. 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 <laughs> yeah, take it. No pleasure. Wait, which one would you take? Me. Which yeah. is the prettiest? Yeah, which is this the prettiest? One. Ah. This one, this one. Ah, okay. 50-50. This, uh, this one and you, the, this one. the Aston. Okay, well, yeah, well, there we go. 50-50. We have the answer. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that's going to, I think that's what everyone is like 50-50. Uh, this one. And then this one is a test. Uh -huh. so yeah. Compare. yeah. This one is better. Ah, thank you. Fantastic. <laughs> See, there you go. Bye-bye. That's one point for me. <laughs> yeah, I think it's very subjective because this is more maybe like weekend style, take the roof off. Especially when you have the Roadster. Yes, yeah. the Roadster is the brand new one as well. Yeah, the Roadster is the brand new What you prefer, which one? I prefer the Porsche. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Very good, very good. I'm glad you so said that. Points? Yeah, two points for the Porsche. I should have came with my car. Yeah, and she would have said the Aston. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, okay, so we've got the Vantage Roadster. This is the same power as the standard one, right? Yeah. Okay. We'll go We'll go for a driver. Ah, 510. Interesting. You know how much power this has? Yeah. 580. 580. So there you go. 0 to 60 in over 3 seconds. 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. Okay, but it's not particularly fair. Price the comparison brand new. Yeah. Brand new, this one with the spec was close to 300,000. Yeah, this brand new with the spec is uh, probably like two. Two. Times. Yeah, exactly. So it's not particularly fair on well, that. We're still doing the video today. And yeah. However, I still think that it's interesting to compare them today. Yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah, because the price of this has obviously come down a lot. Yeah. I did not buy it for 300. So, no, it is very interesting. And the two specs. Interior? No, rear. Was the rear. Oh, yeah, rear. First of all, carbon ceramics, steel. That's interesting. Carbon. You don't really have much carbon on the exterior, but no. you do have painted diffusers because sometimes they come in plastic and that's and, not very uh, nice. The, of course, the quad exhaust. Shit, that is so pretty yeah. from, from the back. Used, uh, the coupe back in the days. With yeah. The, just a single exhaust on the yeah, side. That's true. It was not cool. And then they realized the mistake and then they made the quad. Quads. Quads. So they only do the quad. It's amazing. Oh, so now that's okay. They only do the quad. Very cool. Yeah, this has the quads, but kind of the square design. It looks yeah, kind of cool. I quite like that actually, the way it's a square, square look. What, from the back, you still prefer the Porsche? Yeah, yeah? okay, very good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but no, it, it's, I, I do think the Aston is very sexy. And the and you, noise, what do you prefer? me, I prefer the Porsche. I prefer the Porsche, I think. Uh, uh, although I really like the Aston. The rear of oh, the Aston is very nice. Yeah, but if I had to choose, I think I would say the, this yeah. angle for the Porsche, like that, but wait, yeah. it's pretty beastly. When you get the coupe version, so it's like the line. Kind of yeah, thing. I have to admit, I think the line yeah, of the coupe is. like really interesting. Will you sort here? Okay. Yes, uh, use the opportunity to. To show the noise. Bonjour. 
Merci. Okay, let's see the noise. That kind of more AMG V8. Okay, this definitely wins in the noise department. Maybe that one? Does that win? <laughs> uh, Not quite. <laughs> okay, so can you hold this? Yeah. And I'm just gonna start my car so that they can see the noise. The Yeah, yeah, it's I, not the same. The V8 yeah, is yeah, definitely the, the, the rumble, right? Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 oh. We're also filming this all like very quickly because this was a surprise of niche, but um, yeah. So I think that wins on noise. For some, it will definitely win on design. What about interior? Yeah, that will win. Uh, interior. So here we have like black leather, red stitching. Very nice. A little carbon in the middle, which I think just. Adds oh yeah, there a is a carbon all over the place. Yeah. No, it's very nice, but you don't have the rear seats because if I show the Porsche. We have Alcantara on leather and then rear seats in the back. Again, carbon, but very subjective. I think they're both, I think this feels maybe a bit more like weekend. Um, yeah, get out and drive kind of style. Yeah, because the thing with Porsches is even though this is a Turbo S, if you get a Carrera, yeah. it won't be quite as nice interior because it won't have as many options, but it's yeah. still a similar design. Whereas this is pretty bespoke Aston Martin. So I think the interior, this maybe gets a point to be honest. Okay, and uh, how yeah. quick, can you put the roof up for us just to see how quick the roof goes that's up? That's actually like the most important thing when they released the Roadster, they said that that's going to be like one of the quickest roofs. Oh really? Up and down, yeah, yeah. Because it's not very big. No, I have the panoramic roof which opens, but it's not the same. Okay, so windows go down. Oh, because it doesn't have a cover or anything, it just comes out of here. But I think I have to start it. Okay. Oh yeah, straight up. Okay, that is pretty cool. And you can do that while you're moving? I, I don't know. How I'm pretty sure, yeah. Bye. <laughs> okay, very cool. Very, very cool. The paint is beautiful in this as well. Yeah, well, on that note, shall we go for a drive? Because I'll go park this one back up then. And then I, I want to experience this. We can go the two of us with this roof down because uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, just quick little video for you guys. The new Aston Martin Vantage Roadster. Nice surprise. Thank you, Mish. Awesome. Well, here we are. And we've taken the roof off. Look at this. It's, uh, how, does it give you the temperature? Six and a half, uh, degrees. And a half degrees. But I got the heated seat on. Whoa, you can hear that V8. Very AMG GT-esque. Like. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I think a little amplified though. Where are we going? We're going to turn around. Oh, really? Rest restaurant. I wish we could go into a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, very cool that you've got um, the heated seat, ventilated, ventilated seat. seat. I do not. Degree camera. Oh, yeah. Perfect time to demonstrate that. Yeah, exactly. All the park parking capabilities. I do not have 360. I only have reverse camera and I do not have ventilated seats. Um, there you go. Two fun okay. facts. I also don't have the convertible roof, but you can get the Turbo S convertible. I just. Prefer. Would you get this Aston in convertible would, or coupe? If I were to buy the Vantage, I would take the coupe version. I think. Yeah. I just like the you know the rear look in the back. Yeah. Uh, it just makes more sense. Yeah. But they changed the design of the front on on this as we saw when we were outside, and it does work quite well. And even though the roof is really low, yeah. it there's no like wind buffeting no, or anything. There's this little glass right here, uh, but that's really cool and because seen the roof goes down in like yeah. Five yeah, yeah, it's super quick. But um, but it's it's cool the way they've done this. You can probably hear on the mic that there's no wind noise, whereas usually this mic picks up so much wind noise. Yeah. Um, so that's really nice. The interior is really cool. There's this huge storage bin right you here. You don't really see it in the first Which is place. massive. So that's quite convenient if you've just got like a couple of things you need to whack in there. Is that closed? How is that? There we go. The glove box. Oh, uh, so that's the glove box. Okay, so then that makes more <laughs> sense now. Okay, no, I don't, I don't think I, no, I don't have a glove box. Oh yeah, it's like weird, sometimes there's a pop and crack. 
sometimes it does the pop and bangs, but then sometimes it just completely doesn't. I actually like it, you know, when cars don't always make exactly the same type of noise. Yeah, like sometimes yeah. you know, okay, first gear accelerates a bit, it's gonna bang. Like, yeah. But it's nice, it gives you a little surprise. It's always yeah, you never know if it's gonna do it or not. Just looking on the camera here, these seats are so cool. They're nice. The, the amount of like contrast stitching, Aston just seemed to have found the right formula for contrast stitching on seats because they do it so well. Oh, that noise is fantastic. Yeah, a little bang and pop on the Yeah, very the AMG down. GT, but I mean, the engine is, is basically the same, isn't it? I mean, which also brings us on to like little things, if I move your phone, like here, the, the Mercedes part, which we were just chanting and saying that it doesn't really bother us that much yeah. because it just means that everything works really well. It bothers you when, for example, you haven't driven the car or you haven't used it. So like when you read like a review of the car in a magazine yeah. or you watch yeah. an, yeah. a review and you're like, ah, it's Mercedes, you know? Yeah. But yeah. then when you actually use it, you're like, it's, it's cool, so I know how it works, you know? I know Because other it's, cars, yeah. it's not the same. You'll get into it and they've tried to invent their whole new system and you just get lost. Yeah, and you don't know how to use it and it becomes complicated and it doesn't work. Bluetooth here, plug in yeah. your phone. Look, Everything works. Well, it's because they've used the resources of one of the biggest car companies in the world. Where everything's been tried and tested so many times that yeah. you know they work. You can, I think, as an option, yeah. delete this Re thing, yeah, exactly. which I would maybe do because this is maybe a touch too Mercedes looking. So I would maybe just get rid of that I and then the interiors. One. I haven't seen one without it. Though. Yeah, it could, it could be cool. Yeah, um, because then the interior is completely kind of bespoke to this car, to the yeah, Vantage. The steering wheel looks like a square. Yeah, square shape. steering wheel is quite particular. Really com like really comfortable to, to, to hold it, and I love the huge. Yeah, Palettes. and they feel quality, yeah, yeah, like they're yeah. not bendy yeah, at all. Yeah. Like they're so cool, like when like you feel you have yeah. the power. Like yeah, 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 yeah. No, really nice. Oh, yes. Okay. So we start with sport, right? We don't have comfort. We just okay. start sport minimum, then we have the sport plus, uh, and we have the track. So basically that's your gearbox, sound, and yeah, engine all settings. Above. And then here you have on the left the suspension button. Now we're in comfort and we have the same things for... Okay, so you're in like track, everything else, yeah, and track, comfort. Yeah, gearbox, and sound, and engine, and then comfort suspension. Quite similar to Classic McLaren. To the, uh, oh, look at this. Function. You can see yourself there. Pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a bit like McLaren, you can separate the suspension out yeah, from, from everything else. Yeah. You can actually kind of do that in the Porsche as well. Yeah, I'm not very familiar. Because you, can, you, uh, you have Sport, Sport Plus. Uh, no, yeah, normal sport, sport yeah. plus, and then you've got individual. Okay. But individual, you can set up with like track everything and then comfortable suspension. Okay, so you have uh, a choice. Does yeah. it make a difference? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, it does make a difference. Like, no, 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 because in normal, it's like super chilled. Okay. And then sport plus, the suspension is like being on a skateboard. Okay. And, yeah. uh, and the, the, there's no valves, but the idle is a bit louder. Okay. And anyways, I'm going to get an exhaust from my car. Pretty sure I've decided so. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, I yeah. heard some Porsches with exhaust. It's yeah, it's like a, the, on some cars it doesn't really make a huge difference. Yeah, but, but on a Porsche, Porsche yeah. I heard like it makes a it makes a big difference. I don't want it to be like crazy like the Scud. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the Scud is already super loud, and because it's my daily, I want it to be like reasonable. Yeah, yeah so when you're like, loud driving, but reasonable when you're yeah. driving for a long time, okay, I can right. use it. Yeah, it's quite nice. <laughs> See, because it's so <laughs> low the roof. Safe. <laughs> yeah. And the leather is like this really thick feeling, nice. super nice everything leather. You touch, and I, I love this. Everything you touch has like a sort of a nice, very nice. Feeling. And everything happens in the center here, like even the lights. Yeah, for you the press top, there yeah. and the lights go on and off. Right. And that's down here. Um, the moment you're going to memorize it, it's so comfortable. You can just sit here and like not really look at what you're pushing. You can just yeah. feel the button. And, and I like that they left the physical buttons, you know? Yeah, it's Ferrari not touch screen. Ferrari and like... Porsche, the new, the new Porsches are all like touch yeah, screen. Yeah, that's true. I don't, I, well, also because it just gets dirty on the touch screen things. Yeah, In the yeah, end, you yeah, just have loads yeah, of yeah, fingerprint, yeah, yeah, fingerprint like, marks. We even have this piece of leather. Yeah, really nice. Now the doors are pretty yeah, high up. The windows come like super high, um, which takes some getting used to. But the visibility is okay. Yeah, I'm very comfortable uh, actually driving it. Like even though this is quite small when the roof is down, but like they've made it. It's not yeah. big the car, you know, it's very comfortable to drive. Like we were in it's a parking lot. It's not huge today. at all. Like, yeah. We were in a parking lot today. I wasn't like, oh my god, I'm yeah. stretch it. Like it was perfectly comfortable. And when you accelerate, because it's rear wheel drive, does it feel like the back's gonna go? Yeah, but, or? Yeah, but that's yeah. the fun part. Isn't it? Yeah, I, I like that to be yeah. honest. I think that's pretty cool. You have to, right? Sound system's good? Yeah, so we have the standard one. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're not gonna play it on camera. You won't yeah, understand anything. Yeah, and but we'll get copyrighted. 
really surprised. I picked up the car in the morning, plugged my, saw that it's not the Bang Olufsen. Yeah. And I was like, ah, it's not gonna be that great. And I actually had to even like reduce the sub uh, because it was just so. It powerful. was oh, okay. Like very happy with the stock uh, system already. Okay, no, that's very, good. Very, they like come pretty well specced. Look, look at this. Oh, like, yeah. you know, small details like it's this very make Martin. me really happy because there are some cars you pay a bunch of money and like this is plastic, you know? Yeah, yeah. Here it's all nice. Well, like in the Porsche, I know to have it in Alcantara yeah. uh, was an option on my car. Okay. So like you, you get the whole roof lining in Alcantara, yeah, yeah. but then you need to still spec these out, which is ridiculous. Because you think like for the price you're paying, they could just yeah, for sure. put it in Alcantara, but anyway. I'm very happy. You've also got three-way memorized memory seats for the passenger, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and you, can uh, you don't get that in the Porsche. The Porsche, you only get two-way memory seats for the driver. Does it really matter? Yeah, I guess that's one of those things we don't really care about too much. But the seats, like, as I said, I had the Vantage for like a week. Super, super comfortable. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a mile cruncher. No, also, I think it's a nice sort of package. You know, when you don't want to go extreme with your car, you don't want to like have, uh, I don't know, yeah. a McLaren or something, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. you don't want to go mainstream. Uh, Porsche, <laughs> you can take this and you know, feel really special when you drive it. Like, you don't see it's a great them. Sunday you car, you don't see them on the road. And uh, I just think it's great, you yeah. Know, it's the only enough. thing which is really missing are those little seats because, as much as a lot of people say they're ridiculous in the 911, I use them a lot and I haven't had the car that much and yeah. I've actually used them quite a bit. It's nice, it's, it's an option, you know. All this, yeah. uh, if you're the size of me, it's yeah, very nice to get in the back, yeah, 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 yeah. you got loads of space. Okay, awesome. Well, let's go park up a little bit um, and, and take one last look at this, but pretty sick. I mean, it does make me think, you know, there are other options out there for my turbo, but I mean, the car's brand new to me. I plan on keeping that car a long time and I love it. But I appreciate you coming to show me another option. Please do this more often because it means I get to try other things out. Like every time you're in Geneva, I'm going to come down with a new <laughs> This car. is what you should buy. Yeah. Oh, Did you hear that? <laughs> so cool. This is like the famous area of Geneva that everyone knows. Yeah, I miss, uh, isn't the Geneva car show? Would it's I it's supposed to be a roundabout now, now. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so we're sending our... Yeah, yeah, we're doing something. Oh, next year. there's a nice 911, 996. Do you Anyways. pay more attention to 911s now? hundred oh, percent. Do you say hi? Oh, uh, no, not yet. <laughs> I, I haven't quite qualified to that level yet. But what I do is I've become like a spec nerd. So okay, every time yeah. I see a 911, I'm like, yeah. well, what's what's his spec? You know, what's what are, was he going? Did you join like some of those forums? Not like, yet. Porsche I really Club, should. Sunday drive. When I had my R8, I was like in a WhatsApp group with all of the R8 owners yeah, yeah. in the UK. But um, now I should maybe see. Uh, oh, look at this horrible, matte, horrible matte black Tesla. That paint or no, wrap or whatever what is it is it? is completely ruined. We should go right now. Next right. Oh, I just want to go next. Oh yeah. It's so bad. What is it? It's like a just a it used. Says, it says space. Oh my god. He's got, what's going on with it? It's like got some carbon parts on it as well. Well, on, anyway, that, on, that car, note, on that note, let's pack up and we're back. These door handles are pretty cool. And, and you've uh, got the swan, the doors, swan doors. They stop. Oh yeah. At every single point. They don't like click open. It's true. Yeah. Wherever you stop it, yeah, you'll exactly. just stop there. I mean, now well, we're not, on not, a hill. No, but we're on a hill, so it's a bit worse oh yeah but it's still oh, yeah. I'll take but yeah. it's completely flat flat they'll just stop Very wherever Aston marketing speech here it works yeah. no it works okay Aston it's just Martin the car marketing. Sideways. it's no. just the uh, the, the it's, place it's we us. parked it it's, it's not the car, it's our fault. It's not the car. <laughs> very cool Misa thank you so much Cheers, for bringing the car uh, thank you also to Aston Geneva because very kind of them to lend you this car so that you could show me so huge thanks to them little check Point. But I'm going to put all your Instagram down below because Misha makes uh, some of the highest quality videos on Instagram. We always like, oh, this, we make a video together. Yeah. Misha makes great YouTube but no, videos. No, 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 I know, but it's true. Like you did a video with a with a Vantage as well, but one with a DBS, which I saw, which was nuts. It was like a movie. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you guys want to go see those, I'll either put a clip now or I'll also just put the links down below so you can go see that because it's actually nuts and I don't think they get enough love. So please go show some love. Thank you. And uh, yeah, apart from that, you know, thank you from me as always. And we'll do plenty more things together. If you bring back but other as cars, I said, you come to Geneva, you bring a car. car. Okay, when I go to Monaco, yeah, you bring a car. Okay, yeah, that works. Perfect. That's fine, no problem. Anyways, that's that. See you guys very soon. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.